very serious thing. A lot of us have wireless networks in our homes and in our offices. And the, pro the, the, the problem with a lot of wireless networks is that they're not properly secured. So I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about how to secure your wireless network uh, properly. Well, the first thing you need to know is that wireless networks have what's called an SSID. Now, what that stands for is called a service set identifier. It's a 32 character, it could be numbers, letters, whatever. That's the ID or the name of a lo your local wireless network. And what you want to do, the first thing is you want to make that invisible. And that's a setting in your wireless router <clears throat> to make it invisible. And that way, when people drive by with their, their Wi-Fi and all that sort of thing, they won't see that wireless network identifying itself. They have to physically, they have to know the name of it. It's uh, like making your wireless network vis uh, vanish to the public. So that's the first thing you want to do is hide your SSID broadcast. Um, you want to set a password. It, you know, if your network is open, and it doesn't require a password, then you know, everything flying around that network of the air is, is just like shouting across the room at a party. So you want to encrypt and password protect the data that's being transmitted over your wireless network. Now there's several different encryption mechanisms. The very lowest on the scale is called WEP, and it is really truly the weakest uh, method of encrypting your data. So really recommend that you avoid it unless it's the only option you got. Now there is another level which is better called WPA. But the top of the line for most simpler networks is called WPA2. And in the, the, add that to the security settings in your router. And likely WPA2 personal if your small business uses consumer hardware. So And a lot of small businesses use consumer class hardware because Oh, buddy, if you've seen the price tags of some of this, uh, uh, some of these uh, high-end, you know, commercial-grade routers, they're really quite spendy. So understand, you got to save a buck, and there's nothing wrong with some of this if you take some extra precaution. Well, the next and final piece of advice I can give you is called filter by MAC address, and maybe you've heard this term a MAC address before or not, but essentially a MAC address is a hardware identifier at the factory that's set on a, a network type device, uh, Ethernet card, or, or, you know, a network printer, what have you. So they even have their own unique name, if you will. And you can basically tell your wireless router to only allow uh, computers and devices with the, the particular MAC addresses to connect your network. So if you hide your, your, uh, your identifier, the name of your network, if you choose strong encryption and you filter by your MAC address, you're going to have a much, much more secure wireless network. This is, just takes a few minutes to do. It's, it's actually fairly simple to do, but if not, I'm sure you can find a, a tech somewhere to give you a hand and get that set up for you. And it's, believe me, it's going to be cheap insurance, give you a good peace of mind. What you don't want is you don't want strangers connecting to your wireless network and doing God knows what uh, over the air with your, uh, with your network.